Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. Thank you again for joining me. Today, I want to talk about uh, bullying, bullying in the Bible, and what, how does it uh, relate to uh, today, you know, with things going on today, like, uh, you know, cyberbullying or bullying in schools, you know, or, or in the workplace. Um, I'm just going to give you a little rundown on some scriptures. Uh, I want you to look some of this up. Uh, just uh, look in the Bible and uh, take notes or uh, watch a video later and, uh, you know, just take uh, look up the verses that I'm uh, going to talk about. And uh, the first case, one of the first cases of bullying I want to talk about here is uh, it's in Samuel, Samuel uh, 17, uh, chapter uh, 17, uh, verses 1 through 58. I want you to read this story. It's about David and Goliath. Remember the story of David and Goliath. Goliath comes out of the Phil Philistine army, and he's uh, he's cracking on uh, Yahweh. You know, he's putting them down. He's putting down the Israelis. He's putting you know putting everybody down. And uh, thing is, a young boy named David, who later became king, he he wouldn't take it. He, he just he wouldn't take it. You know, the soldiers. Of, Seasoned soldiers, they were scared of this giant, but David wasn't. David said he'd, he'd, he'd take him down. And guess what? David went out there and stood up to a big bully. And, uh, you know, I'm surprised, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sure the Israeli soldiers were like shaking their heads like, oh my God, what, what's going on here? But uh, anyways, you know what happened? David took the sling and he hit Goliath in the head and struck him down and took took uh, Goliath's sword and, you know, decapitated him. But, uh, you know, Goliath was a big bully. And uh, back then, that's how, you know, you handled bullies, I guess. But I'm not advocating it today. You don't do stuff like that, you know. No violence. No, There's no calls for violence. You know, there's other meaningful ways to handle bullies. Um, then you go to Genesis, uh, chapters 29 to 31, Laban, Laban bullied, kind of bullied Jacob, you know, tricked him into serving him for seven years. He, uh, seven years for Rachel. And when the seven years came, you know, he gave him, uh, gave him Leah, the first daughter and Jacob didn't want that. But then served again, got Rachel, and then Laban kind of subtly bullied him a little bit here and there. But when later on, when Jacob decided to leave with his family, you know Laban, you know went went in pursuit of him because he was, uh, you know, the thing is Jacob was blessing Laban, you know, and Laban was prospering, and he didn't want Jacob to go, and and. Uh, you know, he tried to intimidate him, but Jacob didn't, and they reconciled and went their separate ways, you know. And then, then you got to go with Exodus. Exodus with, uh, you know, with Pharaoh, how he uh, enslaved uh, the Israelis because there was too many of them. And, you know, he started bullying them by, by putting a heavy workload on them, a yoke on them. He put a yoke on them, and when Moses came to Pharaoh and said, release my people. Pharaoh said, no, I'm going to make their jobs a lot harder now. So, uh, he, with, he, uh, he, he, uh, took away the, uh, straw, which helped the mortar to make the bricks, you know, for their building projects. And, uh, Pharaoh expected them to go out and, uh, find straw so they could make this brick. And, uh, and he still demanded the same type of uh, quota, you know, the or even more, you know, quotas on bricks and buildings and everything else. And uh, Moses, you know, under the power of Yahweh, stood up to this bully. And we know what happened to Pharaoh and his armies, you know. And then you got to go with uh, the New Testament, the Gospels, you know, the, the Pharisees. They were bullies, too. Yeah, I mean, they were bullies because, uh, you know, they went around thinking they were high and mighty and everything, and then they would nitpick and pick on people for certain things, on like on the Sabbaths. You know, you can't do this on the Sabbath. You can't do that on the Sabbath. You're doing this wrong, you know. 
intimidating people, you know, and they were bullies too. And Yeshua came and put them in their place and told them, you know, what was up, you know, not, you know, not just the letter of the law, but the spirit of the law too. And, uh, and, uh, now when it comes to bullies, you know, you know, I don't, you know, there's no call for it. You know, I mean, little, like little kids who bully, you know, they're little kids, but they need to be set down and talked to and disciplined, you know, I guess you could say, uh, like in, you know, Exodus, if you go to, uh, chapters, uh, ch chapter 21 through 11, you know, these are the commandments that are for Yahweh, you know, the commandments directly related to Yahweh, you know, you got, you know, love Yahweh, you know, and then Exodus 20, uh, 12 talks about honoring your parents. You know, that's a commandment, but the commandment, it's not a bad thing. It's not a burden or anything. It's just saying, you know, you basically, you know, you love, you love Yahweh and you love your fellow man. You honor your parents and things like that. You don't steal. You don't, you know, kill. You don't do anything, but you know, anything bad. And, uh, how could, if you, you know, if you're a bully, how can you honor Yahweh and how could you honor your parents? How, how can you love your fellow man, your brother, your sister, you can't, you know, and, um, anyways, I'm gonna go to, uh, Matthew 22, 37 through 40, but this is the same, you can also find it in Mark 12, 28 through 34, and, or, th I'm gonna go to tw Matthew 20, 22, verses 36 to 40, Master, it says, Master, which are the greatest commandments in the law? Yeshua said unto him, Thou shalt love Yahweh thy Elohim with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. So that's that's the that's basically you know, it's undisputable. That's, that's it, you know, and when it comes to bullies, you know, we gotta, you know, if, if, if they're kids, we gotta, you know, schools, uh, parents, mainly it's the parents have to, you know, you know, do something about it, have a little talk with them, discipline, whatever, you know, but then, you know, like I said before, you got cyber bullying too, you know, you got these certain people, there's certain people that, you know, come on, some of them call them trolls and other people call them whatever, but, you know, they just bullies behind a keyboard, you know, they get behind the keyboards and, you know, not they're you know, it's not like they're getting in somebody's face, you know, like a big, a big scary guy or something and trying to, you know, you know, intimidate them. These are people that feel safe in their comfort zone behind a keyboard, behind a screen, anonymous and everything. And, uh, is that right? You know, you know, it's not right. I mean, it's not right to con confront anybody either, but it's not right, you know, to bully people, but you know, you got them and everything. And with cyber bullying, it's a little harder. You don't know who they are. You don't know what's going on. You don't know their motives while they're bullying or attempting to bully you. But, uh, you know, it's just something else, but you know, like I said, you know, when it comes to cyber bullying, you know, especially you know, when they get on sites that are promoting the way, you know, promoting Yahweh and Yeshua's message and everything, you know, these bullies that are, you know, if they mess around with those, you know, people, they, uh, they actually, you know, being exposed to the message and, uh, they're being exposed to the message and they're still mocking it and laughing at it. That ain't a good thing because one day they're going to have to face face, you know, their maker and everything, and they're going to have to explain themselves and what they're going to say, you know, but, <clears throat> but that, you know, that's just me. And, uh, anyways, I thank you again for joining me and uh, it's been a pleasure. It really has. And thank you again. And, uh, if you like this video, give me a big uh, thumbs up and hit that notification bell. And, uh, I'll, you know, appreciate if you, uh, subscribe. Until we meet again, you know, peace out and shalom.